All right, so in this lecture, what we're going to talk about is automation, a very, very important part of EDM music, all right? Now, what is automation? Automation is the process of affecting something over time, okay? So you can, you can automate or change um, things like volume, your panning, or even your EQ settings on certain things. And instead of having to come in here and, you know, physically come in here and move up or down the volume, whatever you want to automate, it could be volume, it could be panning, it could be a, a an effect or whatever. Automation is going to do it for you, okay? So you won't have to come back in here and do it physically. It will do it for you as the song progresses, okay? So how do you automate? Well, what you're going to want to do is go over here to this, this top bar right here and select this, okay? Now, once this is selected, whatever track that you want to automate, you just select it, and then you can come over here. So this is a kick drum. I need to really name that. All right. So you go to your kick, and say if you want to automate the volume. All right. If you look at this line right here, this is your automation line. All right. So what you do is click on the parts where you, where you want to automate. So for instance, say if I want the automation to start right here, and I want it to end right here. Okay. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you so you can see it better. What you would do is you could just bring this down here. And now once you play this track, the kick drum is going to gradually come in because we're automating the volume. So let's take a listen. Okay, so that's an example of automation. I'm just giving you examples here because um, ultimately it's really up to your creativity how you do this track or do your tracks. So I'm, I'm going to change this and we can get a better view of it. All right, you see? So that's automation. Now, so let's say if you want to automate something else, you can automate a lot of different things here. You can even automate your pan. Okay, so say if I want this thing to pan from left to right, um, I could say, all right, we're going to go ahead and click right here and um, click right here. So say I want this to pan from left to right. This is going over here to the left, to the right. And we can just simply do like this. And maybe we have it going. And in, in a real life situation, you probably wouldn't want to have it pan, a kick drum panning like this, but I'm going to let you hear how it sounds. So, so far, we've, we've uh, automated the volume, okay, and, we've, uh, and we're, now we're going to automate the panning, meaning where the signal is going to go either left or right. So let's check this out now. All right, so actually what we're going to do is pull this over here because while, that's, while the volume's uh, pan, um, automating, it'd be better to have the... Um, pan where you can actually hear it. So let's check it out. All right. So as you hear here, as you can hear this, you can do a lot of different cool things just by automating your music. So you have the basic understanding of how this works here. We can do the reverb and say, all right, we want to bring in some reverb here. While it's doing all this panning stuff, we're going to have reverb going. Let's just listen to how that sounds. Okay, and the best thing about it is you can adjust this. You can make it, uh, you can adjust it where you want to. If it comes in too loud or too abrasive, you can change that there. 
you can pretty much do this and you can go throughout the whole timeline of your song and you can automate different things to give different effects. So again, the main purpose of this is just to show you that it's there and kind of explain the basis of how it works. And here we go. All right. So this automation, you have questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.